SUs. We're tuning a, a pair of twin SUs today. Uh, tuning triples is much the same. You just do one more carburetor than twins. We're going to balance them. We're going to set the idle. With the SUs, there's a few things you're going to need to get familiar with. The jet, or basically the height of the jet, is tuning the mixture, richer and leaner. That's where the jet sits. Adjusting the jet is done by turning the hex screw at the bottom, which simply raises and lowers the jet. I can demonstrate with the choke, basically sets the position of the height of the jet. The higher the jet, the leaner it is. The lower the jet, the richer it is. You need to start by ensuring that both your jets are exactly the same height on both carburetors. Uh, this is really only accurately done by removing the piston tops. Uh, you get a better view of the top of the jet. You can actually measure them and set them down. A good starting point is set those jets right to the top of the hole or the top of the bridge as it's called. And with the adjusting screw, turn the adjusting screw down two full turns. That'll be a good starting point to tune with. The dampers need to be full of oil. Uh, there's a bit of um, talk as to what oil to use. Basically, the oil is part of tuning. There isn't one correct or one set oil. Uh, there could be a starting recommended oil. Uh, the lighter the oil, the leaner the carburetors accelerate. The heavier the oil, the richer the carburetors accelerate. We like to start with the mid weight, so you can go either way. I start with the mid weight of around 15 weight. Uh, a typical 15 weight oil is transmission fluid or power steering fluid. Just lift the piston and fill the oil to the top of the damper or you can be about a centimetre off the top. Any excess isn't really a big problem as it'll just overflow down the sides and be burnt off by the motor when you first start her up. With oil in both the dampers and our jets set, we're ready to start up and start tuning. Balancing and tuning the SUs, or tuning the idle of the SUs, as long as the car does start and can idle, that's all you really need. The tools, really handy if you have a balance gauge or an, a flow meter gauge. There are various types, brands, we prefer using these, uh, they're simply easy. Uh, you'll need some tool to disconnect or undo the linkage as we need to separate the linkages. A screwdriver for tuning with. Check to see where the balance is. We just have a look. The front one reads about four. The back one's reading about 10. They're out of balance. Before we start, loosen the linkage. So you can actually turn one carburetor different to the next before we tighten them up. Reading 10. Reading 10. Carburetors are balanced. Setting the mixtures, we've already got our jets at equal height, 
They're about two full turns down, so they're a good place to start. We're going to tune the mixture now. We've balanced our carburetors and we've already done our ignition. Again, it's always important to make sure ignition timing and ignition is all correct before you do your carburetors. Carburetors are always done last. The mixture screws the nut on the bottom. You simply rotate it up to lean it off, down to richen it. You can either use a vacuum gauge, a CO meter, or just listen with your ear for the best revs to uh, check the, uh, the right mixture. And that's our tune finished.